everybody out in YouTube land. It's Helen Hartsmith coming to you for the first time in front of the camera. Going to give you a little visual today to go along with the voice. Uh, so it's not a podcast. I thought that I would share a haul with you. I did a little shopping over the weekend and I thought I'd share what I found. Uh, Kathy won't be with me today. Uh, as you know, my cohort in podcasting and and crime really in general um she's not going to be with me today i'm flying solo uh but i was with her when i did this shopping so hey cat <laughs> kind of wish you were here but it's it's trying out so we'll see how it goes uh so this is monday this is labor day and we did some shopping on Saturday. Uh, yesterday, which is Sunday, let's get all the days in a row here, uh, was Kat's birthday. And so we wanted to kind of hang out. We had a group of friends together. Uh, Crystal, hi Crystal. Uh, she joined us and one of our muggle friends. Leanne, she hung out with us as well. And uh, so we went out of town. We went to a couple of stores that sell witchy items. And these were places that I hadn't been to, but I think a couple of the other ladies had been to. But it was all new ground for me. Uh, so I thought that I would share what I picked up. So let's jump in. The first store that we went to is, a, is in Ferndale, Michigan. So if you're in the state of Michigan. Um, Ferndale is down in the Detroit area. Really easy to get there. Um, the store is called the Candlewick Shop. And the Candlewick Shop is owned by a lovely woman that I'd like to consider a friend. We don't get to see each other very often, but uh, Jackie Smith is a wonderful woman. And you've probably heard me talk about her uh, when we talk about convocation because that's where we met Jackie for the first time. Uh, she is our candle lady. If you need candle magic, you go to her. I know I've talked to her on blog posts as well before. She is the owner or part owner. I think she, I think she's in partnership with her sister Patty. Um, so they own Coventry Creations, which is a candle making company for magical purposes, and so. We'd been telling Jackie that we wanted to get down to the store and check it out because it just hadn't happened before. So here we were. That's where we started our adventure. So I picked up a few things from there. Uh, the first thing I got was this home blessing um, candle kit. Let's see if I can get... There we go. She does these little kits where she'll have uh, three, because as we all know, three is a magic number. Uh, three candles to, that are working toward the same purpose. So this is for a, a home blessing. And I was looking for something because I've got a lot of stuff on my plate right now um, outside of work and, and things of that nature. When it comes to my, my witchy education, I've got a lot of things going on. Trying to maintain the blog, trying to keep podcasts coming out to you guys, um, as well as keeping up with my classwork. And so, and I wanted to venture into this little you know, on camera video making as well. And so trying to keep myself organized, um, but I was hoping for a little help. And when I picked this set up, um, I knew immediately, oh, this needs to come home with me. This is what I needed. So we're hoping to find some balance and hoping to keep things organized and things of that nature. So um, there's, like I said, there's three candles in here. We've got one that is a red color so that it's really not showing up red, but this is like a true red. Oh, and it smells good. Um, it looks like the candles that are in here are Happy Home Protection and Stability. Um, so if you're interested in Jackie's lineup, um, I, I totally say go check out CoventryCreations.com. I can link her below. I'm not sure if the store itself has a website, but I'll check that out, and if they do... Um, I know they were talking about that they take phone orders and they ship things out and things like that. But I don't know if it's through Coventry Creations or if it's um, a separate. So we'll see about that. So there's the red one. Then there's a black one. And I'm not sure, like, which one is which. Oh, this one has a definite musky smell. This is earthy, like a sandalwood maybe. I'm not real good at identifying 
um, colors, but there's the black one, or scents, you know what I meant, scents. So there's a black one, and then the third one is kind of, uh, it's kind of a, I would call this like a brick red. The, the first one showed up, see this looks more brown here, but the way that the first candle showed up on film, at least from my vantage point, that's what this one looks like in real life. So this is like a brick. Mmm. This has a spicy smell to it. Like maybe a clove or a cinnamon. Mmm, that's going to be good. Um, but I'm going to, I plan on, and there's there's a, a little prayer that you say when you light them. I'm going to put this on my home altar, and I'm going to burn all of these there because, well, it's a home blessing. The home altar makes sense, right? So that's the first thing that I bought. The next thing I bought is another set, and this is for a new job. And so this one has prosperity, attraction, and stability in it. And so stability was in this one too. So it looks like the burnt red brick color is stability. Let's narrow that down, huh? We could probably even narrow these down a little bit more because I know that the prosperity candle is green. So this would be the prosperity. And this has got a really light, like a fruity smell. This is beautiful. Love this. Then the red one. This red one has to be attraction. And again, this is a spicy. Her, the scents of these candles, you guys, are so good. I highly recommend looking into these because um, they're so good. They burn for a really long time. Now, and she doesn't make just this size. She does like tall uh, candles as well. Um, and then this one, again, is the Stability. Yep, and this smells the same as that other one. So uh, I am in the process of looking for a new job, and so this is going to, these will burn on my uh, main altar. And again, there's a little prayer that you say when you light them. Uh, and of course, I'll clear and charge both of these sets prior to use, all those, all those good witchy uh, habits that we must have, right? Um, the next thing I picked up is um, a, a room spray, and this is called Dragon's Blood, and I believe that they make this at Coventry Creations as well. Um, this is for good fortune, so this is what the label looks like. And so you spray whenever you're in need to power up on some good fortune. So it's made with oils, and so you should shake it, and this is external use only not for inside and of course this is dragon's blood oh it smells so good I used to not be a dragon's blood fan but guys now I like it oh and and I need some good fortune looking for a new job good fortune uh, and then I picked up a couple of incense <sighs> you know a few years ago you guys I used to have a ton of incense. I have a drawer and it was like half filled with incense and I said, this is ridiculous, you need to stop buying it and you need to use up what you have. And I did, I, I, I made a point to you know go through what I had before I bought anymore and uh, now I'm getting to the point where I just had a couple and I'm in my classwork and things like that found myself needing some different scents and so um, I, I'm letting myself buy more and so I'll share I'll share some things that I've bought along the way um, in upcoming videos if you're interested you know let me know below uh, anyhow so at Candlewick shop I got Egyptian Jasmine, and this is by the, you guys, let me tell you, if the print goes backwards, I'm really sorry, because it looks backwards on me, but I know the video flips, so I'll check it, and it should be the right way, but it just looks backwards to me. Huh. I'm using my phone, in case you didn't, you know, pick up on that, but anyhow, so Egyptian Jasmine, I bought this because my classwork... Um, for those of you who aren't into the blog or this is your first time seeing me, I am a student of Christopher Penzak's uh, Temple of Witchcraft, and I'm in my fourth year, and this year we are studying the Kabbalic Tree of Life. And so we happen to be in the um, the lesson of Yasad this, week, this month, and so Christopher suggests burning jasmine, which I had another jasmine, but this one... 
Oh, it smells so good. I thought, I'm going to get this to work with the month. This will be awesome. And I liked the Egyptian aspect of it because um, not only is this year about the Kabbalic Tree of Life, but we're also studying high magic, which is ceremonial magic. And um, nobody does ceremonial like the Egyptians, I'm thinking. So that was a good one. The other one that I bought is Aloe Vera. And I've been doing a lot of work with Aloe Vera since last year. Um, with uh, Christopher Penzak's Mystery School um, with healing. Of course, aloe has incredible healing properties. And so, mm, yes, it's so weird to smell it like in an incense form, but I definitely smell aloe in that. Um, aloe presented itself to me wanting to work with me on healing. And so I've been surrounding myself with, you know, all forms of aloe. The plant, I've been drinking um, aloe juice and aloe drinks. Um, and it's really good and really good for you. So check that out. I found them in health food stores and in Asian markets and stuff like that. And so when I saw this incense form, I thought, well, this would be kind of cool. So I picked that up. Uh, so that's what I got at the Candlewick store, Candlewick shop in Ferndale. The next place that we went to is a place in Pontiac, Michigan, uh, and it's called Crystal Treasures. Um, I guess before I get into anything from Crystal Treasures, I should say that I intend to do a blog post with pictures from Candlewick, the Candlewick shop. So I will um, I will share those on a blog post so you can see the inside of the store. She just moved into a new space not long ago, and they did a fantastic job on the decorating. So I just wanted to make sure to add that. So Crystal Treasures, first time in there again, and... Um, this place, um, it was it was neat. There was a little bit of everything. I you know I walk into these places not sure what to what to expect, um, but a good stone selection if you're interested in stones. Uh, there was a nice rotating display with tarot cards and um, oracle decks, which I could have gone crazy there too, guys. But again, I'm trying to like not buy a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to buy what I want to use. Um, so, oh, it was cool. Uh, the book section was pretty good. There was actually Christopher Penzak books there. And that, my friends, has been a little bit trying to find, you know, outside of a new age store. That's one gripe that I have um, with some of these big box stores is that their metaphysical sections, awful awful. So, okay, we digress. That's a whole other, <laughs> that's a whole other topic for discussion. Anyhow, Crystal Treasures. Um, I, let's see, I don't even remember like the first thing I picked up, so let's just dive in. I found this patch, you guys, and I am all about the Tree of Life right now. The Tree of Life in all its varying forms, you can see that it looks like there's it almost looks like stars down there in the bottom, in the underground, um, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but something told me this needs to come home with you. And I don't have a stole or anything like that just yet, uh, because our coven doesn't use that. We use cords, but I'm thinking there is a stole in my future that this is going to go on, so we'll see about that. I picked up a couple of dried herbs. I picked up yarrow because yarrow is always a useful herb. Um, and this is one ounce for $3.25. I thought that was an amazing deal. And Mullen has been talking to me a lot lately. This is a multi-purpose uh, herb for health reasons, sicknesses, things like that. And so um, I think I have some dried stuff, but I wanna use it. So I wanna make sure that I don't run out. So I picked that up. And again, this was one ounce for 375. That's a lot of herb for the price, in my opinion. Um, I also picked up um, an Essential Essences um, incense, and this one is called the Four Elements. This one, I've actually burned one of these. And it's got a really fun fragrance to it. I can't describe it any better than that. But it reminds me of... There's an, a, a, mis, a, a fairy, fairy dust or something like that that we get from a local 
company. Um, and there, this reminds me of that. It's got a fun, playful scent to it. That's as best as I can describe it. Um, I also picked up, um, I've been taking yoga, and we had a discussion about the fact that you know, we need something. There's there's about half. No, there's more than that. There's about nine of us that that have been taking these classes. And I'm telling you, yoga is awesome. Um, it's it's a great um, a great way to increase your flexibility. And again, a whole other discussion. But one of the ladies in class made a comment that we needed to have something like a stone or because we're taking pictures as we're all going on vacations. Um, she's like, we need a symbol. And so I, th I was like thinking about it. And I'm like, well, Lord Ganesha from the Hindu pantheon, he is the, the god of removing obstacles. And, you know, a lot of us were coming from our different backgrounds. And I know that for me myself, you know, this is a stepping stone in getting you know, back into a healthy way of eating and things like that. And so removing obstacles, that just kind of made sense to me. And so Lord Ganesha's kind of been around the, the edges of existence here, just kind of saying, mm, hello. <laughs> so I found um, a Ganesha incense and I'm actually burning it right now. And I really like the smell. If you see, you probably aren't seeing any smoke because it's coming from that direction it's on my main altar um, which isn't in the frame but um, it's got it's got a bit of it's got a bit of a earthy smell to it um, I really like it so I, I lit that and asked him to help me with those obstacles you know I was dealing I, I bought the uh, the home blessing to help me keep on task so I think that he's work, he's willing to work with me in multiple things so I'm kind of excited about that um, I also picked up a little statuette of a dancing Ganesha can you see him he's really cute and I thought I'm either gonna put this in my yoga bag or I might put that on an altar just to kind of keep his presence there um, but yes there's Lord Ganesha. And then the last thing I picked up, I've been seeing these around lately in different sizes. And Kathy actually has one that has, I think it's got the wheel of the year on it. Um, but there's all kinds. I picked up one of these wall hangings. It's a bit like a tapestry. So it's got metal, a metal fitting on the top with a a little hole here to hang. Metal on the bottom with some little hangy charms. Um, to help it hang straight but then the rest of it guys is like a ribbon and so you see here we've got some crescent moons we've got some pentacles got some knot work all done in purples and grays and silver it was the only one and it said hi and I said, hello, would you like to come home with me and so that's what he did so I've got to find a spot for him but um, I think I want to put it near my altar or in my bedroom or something along those lines. So um, that was the last thing that I picked up there. Um, so that is my little mini haul. 